Shio, welcome back to the food group's lessons. Have you been testing your food group knowledge when you eat your meals like breakfast, lunch, or dinner? Today, we are going to learn about a new food group. But first, let's review the food groups we've already learned about. Our first food group included foods like pomegranates, these sweet grapes, and even these bright peppers. Do you know what food group these all belong to? This is the fruit food group. Remember, fruits are usually sweet and always have seeds. How about this next food group? It included foods like this artichoke, these bright stemmed rhubarb, and this funny shaped kohlrabi. What food group are these in? This is the vegetable food group. Vegetables can come from the leaves, stems, or roots of a plant. Let's do our last food group. It included milk, this creamy yogurt, and all of these cheeses. What food group is that? This was the dairy food group. Remember, all dairy products come from cows and are made from milk. And now, let's move on to our next food group. Can you guess what it could be? Today, we are going to explore the protein food group in a very special way. First, we will explore the group by including animal-based protein. The protein group includes meats, beans, fish, eggs, nuts, and seeds. Some of the meats include chicken, turkey, beef products, pork like this bacon, and fish. Eggs belong to the protein food group too. This group also includes nuts like these peanuts, these cashews, almonds, pecans, and even pistachios. It includes seeds too, like sunflower seeds, chia seeds, these teeny tiny poppy seeds, and sesame seeds that can sometimes be found on breads. This food group also includes beans. The Cherokee word for bean is tuya. Can you say it with me? Tuya. Good job. There are lots of different beans, like black beans, pinto beans, lentils, and black-eyed peas. Some people do not eat any animal product proteins, though. These people are called vegans. So, what do they eat instead of meats and eggs? Well, they might enjoy tofu. Tofu is made from soybeans, which makes it a protein. Mushrooms are also a good source of protein. They taste great fresh, or they can be cooked in a dish. Vegans might eat a food called quinoa, which is very rich in protein. There are even meatless burger options for vegans, and so many more foods that vegans enjoy. Now, let's end our lesson with a game. In this game of I Spy, I will show you a picture, and you will have 10 seconds to find any food from the protein food group. Once you find it, point it out. Are you ready? 
Let's go. You have 10 seconds to find all of the protein here. Did you find it all? Did you find all of the fish, nuts, and seeds? Good job. Ready for the next one? 10 more seconds on the clock. Find all of the protein in this picture. Here they are. There was fish, chicken, and beef, eggs, and even some nuts. Let's keep going. Can you find everything here in 10 seconds? Here it is. There are mushrooms, nuts, beans, and even some seeds in this picture. Great job on that activity. I hope you had fun. That's the end of our lesson today. Did you learn anything new about proteins? Can you guess what the next food group will be? Until next time, Dona Dago Ha'i.